Hey, this is Brian with King Grizzly. I think I've got a really good tutorial here on handling image sizing in Elementor. If you stick with me for a few minutes, this may just change the way you handle images on your website, save you a ton of time, and deal with those instances where clients are uploading really weird size images, but you really need to get a certain dimension or certain ratio, or you want a certain height. I'll show you a few tips. I'll give you a little bit of CSS here that has really saved me a ton of time, made my websites look a lot better. So let's take a look. Okay, I got a simple sandbox set up in Elementor. I've got uh, just a heading for the tutorial, then I have a container that's got two other containers in it that make columns, and I've got my image widget. So there's two things we want to look at. Once you master these, managing your image styling is going to be so much easier in Elementor if you don't already know these tips. The first is managing height. The second is going to be managing ratios, like common sizes, like a 16 by 9 proportion, for example, or even the Facebook social share size. So let's see. First of all, it will be height. So I'm going to pick an image. I'm going to try to choose sort of like a tall one, like this tacos one, and then I'll choose a wide one paste. Let me go get a wider one. Here's one. Okay, so if you have a website where likely you have something like a heading, so if I grab a heading, let me give it a color so we can see it. Whoops. Here, I'll give it a color and then I'll paste it over here as well. In a design, you typically most of the time will want your images and headings to line up for you know horizontally. So tacos is too tall or this is too short, however you want to see it. So click on tacos, go to style, set a height. So I'm going to set a height like 360 pixels. Ooh, it squished it. But this object fit appears. I can choose cover. And now that image will fit in there without uh without getting warped. And so I can actually copy that style and just paste it on to my next image or I could go manually set it the same. Now we've got perfectly aligned headings, perfectly aligned images. If the client comes in, uploads an image that's the wrong size, or even if I do, um, it doesn't matter. It's going to fit in this space nicely. And I have the ability to click on that and even adjust how it's aligned if I, if I want to, right? Center center is usually a good choice. So number one, we've learned how to manage heights. That's huge. That's going to make a big difference in making sure our builds look professional. Okay. The second is ratios. And I haven't seen many people doing this. Uh, so let me show you what we do. So if I got an image and I want it to be a certain dimension, uh, let me find some new ones just for fun. Drop a couple in here. We'll go put our little dolphin friends in. There we go. Here's what we do. In every site, we keep a bunch of starter CSS as code snippets that are helpful. I've got some image CSS that I use, and, and some of it is relating to the ratios of the images. So don't let this intimidate you. This is easy. So we're going to copy this out. Let me get all of it here. You can see I even have blend mode CSS. We're going to come back over here. You normally want to put this under the elementary custom code or in your theme, but for the demo, I'm just going to drop in an HTML widget. Here we go. I'm going to type in style tags for the CSS and I'm going to paste the CSS. Now, what I have are different ratios that we like to use in the site. So we have uh, the class name, which I'm calling helper classes. You see it applies to an image and then we can give it a ratio one to one, two to one, three to two, four to three. So if I click on this image, go to advance, set the class to ratio one to one. Look at that perfect square. I click on the dolphin, advanced ratio, one to one, pow, there we go, just like that. Or how about uh, 16 to nine? Yep. How about nine to 16? Perfect. So this is a quick way to do sort of a similar thing because if I, it's a similar thing to height. So if I were to set this one to the same, they're always going to be that same proportion. So if I drop headings underneath them, it'll work. Now I can even make up my own ratios. So these, I mean, some of these, I guess I did make up. So this one here, one, nine, one, one, I think is like the social share one for say Facebook. So ratio one, nine, one dash one. There we go. That is uh, typical for like a Facebook size. So if you know you're going to be getting images in your site that are probably sized that way anyway, you can help enforce that. Um, so if you're building like say a, a list of posts in your site, and you want the post list to use that proportion, you can just enforce that with your class on your loop item template. But like I was saying, I could, if I wanted to, come down here, um, copy one of these, 
and make up my own. And you can see I've kind of grouped them under portrait versus landscape. Um, here, here's landscape. Um, but you could make up your own. So go here. I don't know what a good one to make up would be. 12 by, I don't know, 5. So then you, you just map that here, 12 by 5. So I would come over to my dolphin and type in that particular ratio, 12 to 5. There we go. It works. Um, so something to note um, would be this can get a little bit tricky if you start playing with things like the height. So let's pick something common, like I've got the Facebook size over here. If I start playing with the height, you'll notice, oh, it gets messed up. You know, no good. Um, so what can we do about that? We could try something like going to advance and then clicking align self center, but that didn't work. Hmm. So we'll go back over to style. What can we do? What can we do? Well, we could try to set our width. We can set the pencil class and do auto. And then that, I believe, will keep the ratio. And now, actually, if I go back to Align Self Center, uh, then it, it kind of collapses in and it kind of does what we're thinking. So um, as I play with the height, within a certain tolerance, it will keep that ratio. But at some point, once it hits the full width, it'll, it'll kind of ignore our CSS. But for, for most use cases, you're not going to need to change anything. You just set this and you're good to go. So between those two tricks, controlling your heights manually or using a ratio, I think that solves most needs for managing image sizes in Elementor. And you can get pretty creative with it. Like I could have a hero panel where, let's just do it real quick, okay? So I'm gonna add a container. Uh, maybe I'll get rid of the padding. I'm gonna copy this image and paste it in there. Paste. And now I've got a hero image that's always going to be the ratio I want. Now, I need to click on that container and make it uh, full width. I forgot to do that. Let's see what happens. Nope, didn't work. I can fix it. So we're going to click on our image style. I need to go with my widths to 100%. Let's do that. It does take a little fiddling sometimes, but this should work. There we go. So now we're always going to get that ratio. So even if my browser goes down in size, it's going to keep that ratio. Uh, so hopefully that was useful. Let me know what you think, or if you have any improvements to this, I'm always looking for ways to improve um, handling images in Elementor. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if this was helpful.